Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Reardon. I'm today's mystery reader. You might remember me, I came to visit you all in the classroom not too long ago, and I work at the Duxbury Fire Station. So me and Max today, we're gonna read you a book. The book I picked was Firehouse. So let's get going. Edward wants to be a firefighter. One day, and he and Judy visit a firehouse. You can see here. They're walking, and then they go to the firehouse. Edward tries on a shiny red fire hat. That looks just like the fire hats we have at the fire station. You see they have the axes on the wall, and then they have the fire coats. Mrs. Speckle, the fire chief, shows them around. First, you can help wash the fire truck, she says. Later, we'll have a practice fire drill. So you can see, they're all helping wash the fire truck. That's just like we do at the fire station. We always try to keep the trucks looking really clean. Everybody's helping out. They're a big team. Everyone helps. A clean fire engine is a happy fire engine, says a firefighter. Edward climbs into the driver's seat. He stares to the right. He stares to the left. This is where we live, says a firefighter. Suddenly the alarm rings. You can see them all jumping up because the alarm's going off. Now they slide down the fire pole. Do you know if we have a fire pole in Duxbury? At our fire station, we have two of them. Do you think we use it? We do, because it's a lot faster than going down the stairs. This is a fire drill, calls the fire chief. The firefighters spring into action. Everyone hurries down the fire pole. You can see how fast they're coming down the pole, one after the other, just like we do with the fire station. Hang on, Edward, a firefighter calls. The fire engine speeds away. You can see the fire engine. It's pulling out of the fire station. Judy opens the fire hydrant. The water is so strong it knocks Edward right off of his feet. So they open the fire hydrant and boom, gets knocked right off of his feet. Everyone works together. See, they're all helping each other because that hose is heavy because it's filled with water and has a lot of pressure. So they're working as a team. Five of them, one, two, three, four, five. Edward practices going up the ladder. Have you ever seen the ladder truck at the Duxbury Fire Station? Kind of looks like that. I don't know if we climb the ladder like that. But he needs help coming down. Life-saving is a firefighter's most important job. So you can see the firefighters helping the other dog down the ladder. They return to the firehouse after lunch. The alarm bell sing rings again. This time, it's a real emergency. So they were trying to eat some lunch, and then the call came in. So just like at the firehouse, if we're eating our lunch and a call comes in, we need to go help people. A kitten is stuck up in a tree. Who will save her? Ask a firefighter. Edward volunteers, let me. So these guys, they went to that tree because there was a cat stuck up there. And they were trying to figure out who was going to help the cat. Edward climbs a ladder. He rescues the kitten. Good work, the firefighter cheers. You can see the cat up there. You can see the dog on the top of the ladder. I guess he's going to rescue her. Edward saves the day. There is a big parade to celebrate. You can see they're out in that fire engine. Nice and clean, right? Look at them all in there. Looks like they're having a great time. A firefighter needs rest. It is bedtime at the firehouse. Must be late. Everyone's going to get a little shut-eye. Well, thanks for reading Firehouse with me. I think I put Max to sleep. He's sound asleep over here. I think he had too much to read. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.